I want to talk about the Lily White sessions, and maybe you can explain to everybody what exactly happened in, in at March of 2000. You went in to record. I think eight or nine of the tracks came initially from the Lily White sessions, and maybe somebody could explain exactly what happened with that. It went all crooked. <laughs> the song. Well, how, you know, how finished did the songs get? They didn't get finished, and yet nearly a million people ended up with a copy of the infamous. They've become like. Yeah, well, you know, I think you know, people, we we can't we can't be upset that people want to hear what we're doing. So I'm not upset about that because people want to hear it. That's a that's a gift, you know. We but we uh, I think we'd all agree that we sort of we we started something and it started well, but it kind of it kind of got heavy and the room got darker and we we didn't have the energy to finish it. It's kind of like painting a picture. I've said this a thousand times, and then loving it. But saying, but I can't finish it. I got to put this down, and then go and walk in, into a gallery somewhere and go, "Damn, it's up!" You know, and people looking right. at it. You know, it's, it's, it's like, what happened? How did it you get know? there? I don't want that. And then, and then having to answer, you know, and then having people come out and uh, you know maybe critics or people saying, "Why is that?" It, because it's not finished. Right. <laughs> How much did it surprise you that it got out? And in that much, I mean, nearly a million people ended up with a copy of that. Hey, how did they get a copy? That's a good question. Yeah, it was a, <laughs> this was these were these were studio sessions that lasted eight or nine eight or nine tracks, not completely produced yet. For whatever reason, you don't want to put it out. You call it quits for a second, and then this copy gets out, and you don't know how. No. <laughs> no, there's lots of right here. Just things. a, a so stereotypical he, yeah. leak of a record. Yeah, it's it's a it's a lot of lot of you know, like you say hearsay. Yeah. You know, on on how the record got out, but, but the weird thing was it was they were all just. They, they were basically ideas, you know? Mm -hmm. They were all ideas. You could hear in the background, you can hear us telling jokes, you can hear us laughing, you can hear us doing all kinds of crazy stuff, you know, in the, in the recordings. And it, it pissed us off, really pissed us off. And we heard that on the, on the internet, you know? It was like, whoa. Right. You know, I thought it was a joke at first. I thought, you know, some kids got, got the record and, and they were just songs of somebody else, you know, some, some other band and people were, like saying they had music of us. Right. But I downloaded it and it was exactly. <laughs> You came in and yeah. you said, I heard it. I heard it. It's there. It's, it's and, us. You know, yeah, and, and it's that, us. the thing was that, you know, you can't, we, we, the, the, the frustrating position we were in was, you know, we don't, you don't want to say, no, bad people for not, for liking <laughs> right. us, you know, but, but at the same time, you want to say, nah, damn it. Yeah. And how it got out, you know, think about every album that comes out that there's a demand for now. It's almost impossible to stop him from getting out. Right. Yeah. You know, Eminem I, just put out a record, and he was supposed to have this special secret, like encryption that mm -hmm. you couldn't, and that failed. And they, they failed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, is there anything that you can do? I mean, we couldn't even get a copy of of uh, your new record for this show. Our director you can barely shoot your performances coming up because we couldn't get an album copy. Is that the idea? Hold on to it till it yeah, comes Yeah, I think, out? and, and you know, the only absolutely safe way to do it is for us to go into a room and lock the door and never come out again. <laughs> <laughs> Then we can be sure that no one will ever get any. <laughs> Do you guys download music? I don't. Not after, not after, not after that. Not after that. No. That one time. No, that was it for me. I'll never do that again. My niece, my, 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 my niece is the, the person that 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 uh, the, the a young person that I talk to a lot about that stuff, and she downloads tons of stuff. But, but it's cool, because every time she, she feels sensitive, like tied it into me, I guess, but every time she downloads something, uh, she says, I like that, and then she goes out and buys a record, you know? So right. then she says, oh, I, this, this thing is really cool, and then she goes and buys a, or the, new, the, late, the most recent Johnny Cash. She, she heard that on, she was like, wow, I really dig that, and then went out and bought it. So, I, you know, I, I don't know if it's just the fact that she knows me, but I think that's kind of a cool way to do it, because I think in, that the fact that people can be exposed to lots of different music Right. is a really good side of it. It seems weird to me that, I don't know if you guys felt burned at all that this whole Lily White sort of scandal occurred when you're one of these bands that is so cool and allowing your fans to tape your shows, you know, you um, allow them to share music within the community. Did it feel like you got burnt from this? Yeah, well, you know, not, but not, not from the fans, though. I mean, it, it, it just, I mean, if, if somebody's going to put some music out there, you know, people are going to listen to it, you know what I mean? I, I guess you can't really, you can't blame fans for that, but whoever was a person that put the music out there, you know, it's, it's a person that, you know, it's, it's it. Yeah. <laughs> you know. There'll be a beating soon at a show. Yeah, yeah. I guess you don't play in a room. There's only, if you, 